It's the 30th of March. It's still been snowing quite a lot. I haven't been out here much. I have got this all staked out down here. I've got that section that I made a few weeks ago resting on it. I've not screwed it down yet, but I'm now just working out how to move up the garden. So I'm going to make it modular so it all comes away in pieces. I'm working on a module here that's about maybe 1.8 metres long, something like that. I realised actually that my loading gauge that I was going to be working with, I'd worked that out completely wrong because I've made an assumption that the biggest thing would run on it would be a particular loco that I think is quite big. But as it turns out, coaches take up the most space from what I can work out. Certainly width-wise, there is wide if not wider than the largest locomotive I plan to use. So um, I had to work it all out again. I've come up with this neat little way of just figuring it out as I go along. It's a piece of card cut to the dimensions of the overall width and overall length of the biggest coach that I expect to ever make. All I'm doing is just pinning a bit of flexi track to the board I'm working on and just making sure that it runs okay. I'm actually roughly plotting where I'd put the track although once I put the felt over it I won't be able to see my markings so I'll be starting again with that anyway. We've had a decent enough day today, it's been quite bright so hopefully we'll get a few more bright days soon and I'll be able to really crack on. I've pre-cut myself a whole bunch of steaks today uh, which I'm going to put some bitumen on later. The thinking being that once they're ready to go I can just cut each module and put it down as I go along rather than looking at the whole thing and scratching my head and thinking where am I going to start? <laughs> the other thing I've realised with these stakes is that they're not as strong if I pre-drill holes in them so um, from now on I'm going to be putting them in the ground before I drill any holes in them because I did break one when I was putting that bit down I had to rethink my plan. The change in loading gauge it actually resulted in me widening that section slightly as well. It would all fit at a pinch but plants grow and this whole railway is going to be surrounded by plants and I just wanted to give myself that little bit extra as it is I think I'm going to be running along the hedge with shears before each running session although box hedges do grow quite slowly so I might be alright <laughs> so anyway uh, I should get on and do what I can before the light runs out so I'll see you another time goodbye